Once upon a time, in ancient Japan, there was a well-respected Zen master named Hakuin. People from far and wide traveled to his small village to seek his wisdom, which he offered freely to anyone willing to listen. One day, a boisterous, boastful samurai arrived in the village. He was known for his prowess in battle and was feared by many. He had heard of the Zen master and wanted to test his wisdom. Master Hakuin, he bellowed, disrupting the peaceful quiet of the monastery. Teach me about heaven and hell. Hakuin looked at the samurai and responded in a calm voice. Why should I teach a brute, a tasteless, and noisy fool like you about such profound matters? The samurai, his pride wounded, went red in the face. Rage consumed him, his hand swiftly moved towards his sword, ready to strike the old master for his insult. But before he could unsheath his sword, Hakuin, remaining unperturbed, said, Here open the gates of hell. The samurai froze. He understood the Zen master's message. His own reaction had created his hell. It was not the master's words, but his response to them, that led him to feel fury and humiliation. Embarrassed and humbled, the samurai slowly withdrew his hand from the hilt of his sword and bowed deeply to Hakuin. At moment, Hakuin spoke again, and here opened the gates of heaven. The samurai then understood the power of silence and tranquility, of responding, not reacting. His peace came not from his power or reputation, but from his ability to maintain serenity in the face of adversity. From that day forward, the samurai practiced the art of silence and tranquility. His reputation transformed from a feared warrior to a wise leader. Not because he stopped fighting, but because he stopped letting his reactions control him. Through silence, he had discovered his true power, and in so doing, he found his heaven. The treasure we get from this story is that, true power comes from inner peace and the ability to control one's reactions. Our responses to situations and words can either open the gates of heaven or hell for us. By mastering the art of silence and tranquility, we can prevent negative emotions from controlling our actions, leading us to wisdom and inner strength. Thanks for watching Inner House. Stay well, keep well. In the quaint town of Yamanashi, at the foot of Mount Fuji, lived a young man named Hiroshi. Known for his quick temper and impulsive reactions, he often found himself in arguments and conflicts with the town's folk. He yearned for peace, but his anger always got the best of him. One day, an old Zen master, named Takashi, came to visit Yamanashi. Hearing of Hiroshi's troubled spirit, he asked Hiroshi to accompany him on a hike up Mount Fuji. Hiroshi, seeing the opportunity to escape his own chaos, agreed. As they ascended the mountain, Takashi spoke to Hiroshi about the harmony of nature, the balance of elements, and the peace that reigned supreme in the wilderness. But Hiroshi was too consumed with his anger to truly understand. Upon reaching a silent, serene clearing, Takashi stopped. He looked at Hiroshi and said, Now, I want you to scream as loud as you can at the mountain. Puzzled, Hiroshi did as he was told. He gathered all his anger and frustration and yelled into the void. To his surprise, the mountain yelled back. Every word, every sound, 
echoed back towards him with the same intensity. Frustrated, Hiroshi turned to the Zen master and asked, Why did the mountain yell back at me? Takashi replied, The mountain didn't yell at you. It merely echoed what you sent its way. You screamed with anger, and anger is what you received. If you had laughed, it would have echoed laughter. If you had spoken with kindness, it would have echoed kindness. Hiroshi understood the Zen master's words. He realized that his anger was not a product of his environment but a reflection of his inner state. The world around him was just like the mountain, echoing back his own emotions. He needed to change his approach, not expecting the world to be kind when he was not. He thanked the Zen master, vowing to practice kindness and patience in his interactions, and descended the mountain with a new understanding of his life. The treasure we get from this story is, the world is like an echo. It gives back what we give out. The key to harmony lies not in controlling the outside world, but mastering our inner state. Thanks for watching Inner House. Stay well, keep well.